guys how's it going and welcome back to another video today is another match day vlog today we face wigan away it's a very big game obviously wigan sit uh, they sit top of the league simple as um they look fantastic so far it, it, it's not gonna be easy today obviously with the news of callum wright and world ball being out injured callum wright for a potential six months and world boil out for a month it's not looking good um squad wise obviously we've still got the midfield depth depth with the likes of taylor parry um liam sarkin back in contention for today uh as tweeted by john palmer and all those sorts of players kyle vassal back obviously he looks good uh, after his little injury but yeah today is not i'm not confident by all means i'm not confident in the slightest um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go for a free one to wigan I, I don't think we stand a chance. To, I hope the lads prove me wrong, but yeah, I, it's not looking good. But yeah, your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. If you do go on to enjoy this video, please do smash like and subscribe. We massively appreciate that. We are on the road to 700 subscribers. Absolutely mental support. So if you could help me hear that, that would be massively appreciated. But yeah, without further ado, let's go and catch the coach.
it's almost half time um obviously it's one nil to them we have not really had any clear cut chance we just had a couple of chances there um we don't look like scoring at all they've had a lot of chances but they haven't really come massively close uh, other than that shot that went just over the bar but I think it's it's at the other end of the pitch I'm not 100% sure I think it's Pollock that might be down injured hopefully that's nothing serious because obviously we've already got Boyle out if we've got Pollock out that's not good Raglan is still on the verge of coming back into the team but he's still not fully fit if he can, if he's not good enough to play on we're not in a good place defensively and that's the last thing we want when we're trying to stay up especially when we're not scoring masses of goals at the other end Well then, that might be the worst possible start to a half. We've had a half chance where it's played in behind, but Carl Joseph couldn't quite get to the ball. They've literally got at the end, other end, played it across our box. Shot and Charlie White smashes it in. We've had a shot, go miles wide. We just don't look good today. Yes, Wigan are a good side, like there's no taking that away from them. But we look poor. We look really, really poor at the back. But also in every aspect. You know, yes, we started bad defensively. But, you know, we, we've lacked anything going forward. We've lacked stability in the midfield. Passing-wise, we keep having to go back. Whether that's the way we're going to set up or it's the way we're playing, I don't know. Either way, it's 2-0 to Wigan. It's not looking good. Come on! Take this chance.
five minutes of normal time to go. Still 2 0 Wigan, um, making the dominant side. We've been poor today, which worries me a bit because, yes, we can say that Wigan are top of the league, however, we have not played well at all today. We haven't looked threatening in any area, really. Um, there's not really, you can't really pinpoint any good area of the pitch. I don't think anyone had a good performance today at all. Um, just nothing to take from this game at all, other than the fact that we need to improve. Um, and it, you know, we expected, you know, we didn't expect coming to this game expecting to get a result. But the way we've played is a bit worrying. But yeah, just under five minutes to go, still 2 0 Wigan. That is it for today's video. The game did end 2 0, obviously. Not the result we wanted, but in a way, kind of expected. Um, there's a lot to learn from today. We have played against a very, very strong side with a lot of big name players in this league. But, you know, it's, it's it, it, some of the passing play and some of the defensive play at times was a bit worrying, but I suppose when you're under pressure against a big side like this, you know, it's not going to be perfect, is it? Sunderland next in the league and then Rotherham it's not a nice run at all and if we can get maybe two points at least from our next two games that would be fantastic I can't really see us getting any if we play like we did today but it is what it is it's another grand ticked off the list for me um, but yeah if you did enjoy please do smash like and subscribe I would massively appreciate it. There won't be a vlog for Sunderland, unfortunately, but there will be a vlog for um, Rotherham. And then I think the next away game is Portsmouth, so I'll be going to that as well. But yeah, it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching. I've got trusted there. I'll see you in the next one.